Welcome back to this series. Sorry it's been so long since the last video, but I promise you won't have to wait too long for the next one. So we left off with the two tadpoles moving into their new tank and to soften the impact of the filter I built a little fountain shall we say where the water could ricochet off of the bricks and the tadpoles as they developed they have an area where they can hold on to and eventually use to pull themselves out of the water. So first off the tadpoles looked very tadpole like obviously and the tank was nice and clear with the odd pond plant in. Very quickly though, the bricks I'd added in started to grow either their own moss or algae, which actually wasn't too bad because it made the tank look more natural and the tadpoles also eat it. As well as this, I ended up adding in some moss balls, some moss on the bricks and hair algae, stupidly enough. I'd actually remove some from the shrimp tank and put it in there. You remember that tank I have that I call a shrimp tank, even though it doesn't have any shrimp in? We can all dream. Anyway, whilst all of this is happening, the tadpoles were growing fast. They had probably doubled in size from when they hatched out, and they'd gone from having external gills to internal gills to them being like covered up by skin. Over the next couple of weeks, the tadpoles altered in shape a little. It becomes quite apparent when you look directly down on them, and you can start to see the structure of a frog. I mean, it's a very basic outline, but it's certainly there. Another thing that became clearer was where the legs would eventually form, and you can see what I like to call little nubbins, where both the back and front legs will eventually be. It didn't take too long for these back legs to come through. Now, according to some documents, this can occur around day eight of the tadpole's life, but honestly, I can't remember exactly when this occurred with the tadpoles. All I knew was one day they weren't there, and one day they just appeared, like literally overnight. The legs started off pretty small and displayed very minimal movement at all, but they grew very quickly, though I have to say they posed very little help to the tadpole. I mean, other than the tadpole using them to jump into things but had no support at the front of the tadpole, so it just like face plant the water. But anyway, they were cool. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate that this tadpole is actually eating hair algae? Like, literally nothing in my shrimp tank will eat it at the moment. Like, I literally hate hair algae. It seems like the only way to get rid of it is just to remove it, and then it grows again, and it is like the bane of my aquatic life. Anyway, unhelpful back legs aren't the only odd thing about tadpoles. Their intestines are pretty strange too. Now if you look very closely, you may be able to see them through the skin. You might have to look quite hard though. It's actually in like a spiral shape. Now we never dissected frogs or anything at school luckily, so I don't know if a frog's intestine looks like this. I don't think it does. But you can see that through their skin kind of. And also, can we appreciate how they eat? In this clip, you can also see how it will go along the plant with its little teeth and scrape the algae off. Anyway, back to the intestines. Now, even if you couldn't see them very well in that clip, fortunately, there's a photo posted by National Geographic where you can actually see straight through the tadpoles. I don't know if these are the tadpoles to glass frogs, but I love that you can see it so clearly and you can appreciate the complexity that is the inner workings of a humble tadpole. Finally, both tadpoles now have their back legs. And you may have noticed through this process, there's actually one that is slightly behind in its development. I believe they hatched out the eggs at a similar time, but the one that's slightly slower is actually bigger. So maybe it's just taking its time to grow. Anyway, sadly, this is where today's episode's ends but I can promise you the next one is so cute just imagine it right now little froglets with little nubbin arms so cute anyway so make sure you like and subscribe I hope you've enjoyed today's video thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>